All right, welcome. I think we're going to get started. Uh, let me start with a couple of announcements. Um, I'm Becky Senf. I'm the chief curator here at the Center for Creative Photography. And we have a number of good programs coming up. Tomorrow at noon, I'm doing a tour of the galleries, the two exhibitions that we have on view, the Ansel Adams Performing the Print and the Mark Kleck Collaboration Show. So that's tomorrow at noon. I think there's another, um, well, I'm going to get to it, actually. Um, on April 17th, from 5.30 to 6.30, you can join us for a tour of the Conservation Lab with our new conservator, Dana Hemingway. Uh, space is limited for this special event, and so it's limited to ad advocate and patron level members. So if you are already a CCP member and are interested, you can join at that level. If you're not already a member, please consider joining us. Additionally, we have a closing presentation for the Mark Klett Collaboration Exhibition. The artist Mark Klett will be here in Tucson to talk about the exhibition, and in particular about his collaborative process. That's going to be a conversation between me and Mark. Um, we will be offering a special CCP members only tour of, the, of his exhibition at 4 o'clock on that day. So that's April 26th. Um, and then I want to mention that there are copies of Damon's book, um, which is there, but also looks like this, an actual physical space. Um, and so there will be uh, copies of the book for sale after the presentation, and Damon, I believe, is willing to sign and inscribe sure. copies. And actually, I'd love to have you do mine. Um, so tonight's presentation is a little bit outside of the center's norm. Um, Damon Krukowski is a musician, part of the band Damon and Naomi, and previously of the band Galaxy 500. He's author of this new book, The New Analog, which comes from the New Press and MIT Press. And he is host of the podcast Ways of Hearing from Radiotopia's Showcase. Uh, he was educated at Harvard University and lives in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And I came to know about this publication because I was working with his wife and bandmate, Naomi Yang, on an acquisition for the center. And as we were working, we were working in a um, storage unit. And so there was lots of time as we were looking at pictures to talk. And she and I got talking about, I mean, just all the kinds of things you talk about. And she said, oh, my husband is writing this book about the change from analog to digital and music. And there seemed to be all of these interesting resonances with things I was thinking about in photography. So as soon as the book came out, I purchased the book. And as I began to read it, it was very clear that there were lots of resonances. And so I began to think that you all, the audience here at the U of A, would be interested in thinking through these ideas as well. And so I invited Damon to come. So for those of you who are coming from the photo side, you're going to have to forgive this short um, diversion that I'm going to offer for those of you who are not from the photo side to just pull out an example um, that I hope will help make the link between what Damon's going to talk about and what we're thinking about in photography. This is a very superficial example, but I hope will make the connection. So much of what Damon is interested in and will talk about is the relationship between signal and noise in music and the importance of, of both signal and noise and the way that that changes when we transition from analog to digital. So I wanted to just make that same point in photography. So we're going to start with modernism and an Edward Weston print. And so the straight photographers, or the pure photographers, as they would have called themselves, were interested in as little dilution from the signal that was in the negative, the index, to the final print. And so Edward Weston would make 8 by 10 inch uh, negatives, and then he would contact print those so that there was as little change in the translation from negative to print as possible. So that's somebody who's interested in maintaining that signal and making sure that the final object that you're getting shows through all of that original content. When we jump forward to someone like Robert Frank, who's working with a handheld camera, Robert Frank was not so concerned that the signal be preserved perfectly. And so here, the content of the message gets more important, and the way that the message get, gets conveyed gets less important. And so someone like Robert Frank would shoot with a 35 millimeter camera. He would be working in low light. He might incorporate blur. 
In this case, we have the, the figure that's very close to the camera out of focus. So, so all of those were part of the syntax that he was using. And the notion that the conveying of the message um, was, was not so important as long as you understood his content and understood the message that he was trying to convey. So now I'm gonna jump way forward to a work by Aaron Rothman. Aaron Rothman is a Phoenix-based photographer. Um, he's been working in digital photography and in this particular instance, this piece called uh, Milky Way RGB from 2013 is a picture of the Milky Way galaxy with a digital camera where there's so little signal, there's so little light coming off the galaxy that much of what the sensor on the digital camera picks up is noise. And Aaron's interested in the way that you can amplify that noise and yet your viewer still understands the message, the signal that's there in the, in the image. And that it actually doesn't take very much signal for the viewer to understand what they're looking at. So when you look at the piece as a whole, you can recognize probably the Milky Way galaxy spreading across this triptych. But then when you look at a detail of one of the individual views, it breaks apart and all you see is that digital noise, all of this information that's not actually signal but just information. So that's my very quick gloss on this idea of signal and noise in photography. Uh, Damon's gonna speak about his book and, and the ideas he's been grappling with. And then at the end, uh, we invite you all to ask questions. And if you have questions that are photography related that Damon can't answer, I'm happy to, to answer those questions and, and approach it from the photography side. So if you would please join me in welcoming Damon Krukowski.